The island's Minister for Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Affairs, Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyat, on Friday, 17 September 2021, continued her familiarization tour of the various departments and agencies comprising her ministerial portfolio. Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyat visited the Bodily Correctional Facility and assured management that her office will provide the requisite resources and support to the correctional facility to carry out its mandate. More from Homer DeMarc. Minister for Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Affairs, Honorable Dr. Virginia Poyat visits at the Bodily Correctional Facility on Friday, 17 September 2021 to gain insight into the operations of the island's primary penal facility. During the comprehensive tour, the minister was guided through each section of the building and was provided with a detailed account of its administration. The Minister for Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Affairs also held discussions with the director of the institution, Hilary Herman, on some of the critical issues impeding the BCF. Honorable Dr. Albert Poyot indicated that among the problems to be addressed is decreasing the number of prisoners at the bodily correctional facility. What I'm very concerned about is the, to, to ensure that we minimize the number of persons who come to bodily. And that is a huge task, but we have to work extremely hard. And what is of even greater concern is the, the ratio of male to female. That has always been a great imbalance. And we have to work very hard on our young people and our men so that they can control their emotions, they can resolve their conflict in a more amicable and peaceful manner and stay on the side of the law. And this is something we will want all our institutions in St. Lucia to begin to work at how can we reduce the number of persons that are admitted in at bodily. Director of the BCF, Hilary Herman, revealed some of the pertinent issues affecting the penal facility. As you know, our prison is almost 20 years old. The infrastructure is crumbling. We need locks, we need fences, we need gates. There are many issues. Um, so we've highlighted some of those uh, with the minister, but uh, we're realists to know that um, resources are limited and uh, in a country where we need schools, roads, rivers, bridges, um, we know where our priorities are. So um, we hope that uh, some of the requirements that we have will be attended to and we've passed on our priority list to the minister. Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot is expected to meet with the Cabinet of Ministers to devise a plan to remedy their problems at the institution and increase the success rate of the rehabilitation programs. From the Government Information Service, I'm Hermody Mark, reporting.